Yo, what's good? What's good? I'm back with another reaction video. This is a try not to laugh. This is an impossible one. Let's get into it. Let's see. Pretty much everywhere. It's gonna be hot. Shut it. Man, I don't need a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. No! Tomara que a Júlia seja muito feliz com a escolha dela. Fingers fall on no. I pooped my pants. She's a wolf in mouse clothing. Ah! The mouse's ghostly howl stakes claim to. Hey buddy, we're at PetSmart. We're at we're at PetSmart. Uh, you get groomed. You wanna go to PetSmart, Captain?
Magic Chip. Go, go! <laughs> there you go. go on, Chip! Oh my! You need to put your hands like that. So you can do. So why is it that Cat Zingano is so hard to shake here? Half of Cat's torso is actually fused to the mat. She's also been able to distort her body in some positions that I can only describe as supernatural. Very grudge like Joe. Now, Joe, what technique is Junior Dos Santos utilizing here? Mike, he's yeah, pretending to be a turtle UFC that can't flip over. He's trying to confuse Frank Veer. Frank looks very confused. Look for him to go for a takedown using only his feet, and he got it. Oh, this is interesting. Jones just pulled a mummy guard. Now he's trying to lure Alex in by casting a spell. He's showing incredible flexibility in his bones, Joe. Yeah, this kid is such a gifted athlete. Joe, what are the benefits of completely freezing your body during a fight with yourself? Well, one of the advantages is that your opponent is completely confused. He's unsure if you're a real person anymore or just some sort of object that's fallen into the cage. And it is great for takedowns. As you can see, Fourier has landed two now. And the Iceman is back on his feet. This crowd is going crazy, Joe. Ow! Referee Eve Levine with a psychic knockout. Jones with a capoeira kick. And Gustafson responds with a merry-go-round. Incredible strength like and a total disregard for the laws of physics. Aldo with the big 1080 spin takedown. He's been landing those effectively all night, Joe. Gustafson is so elusive, Joe. We knew going into the rematch that Gustafson flipping through the air was going to give John Jones problems. He didn't want to admit it. They gave him fits in the first fight. And here he is again. He's getting flipped all over, Mike. Carmouche with a nice 70-foot sliding takedown. Oh, she's out, Joe. She's out, and Liz Carmouche doesn't realize it. Carmouche is going to town on the air. Those are nasty shots. Ronda taking a moment to catch her breath. Eve Levine looking intensely at the action. Carmouche is going to tire herself out, Mike. Ronda needs to be careful not to hit her in the back of the head. Right into a butt-back mount. Big kick by Jones. Alex goes for a leg, gets a hold of a ghost that's been haunting the arena, and huge takedown. Gustafson shoots, and now he's showing off his sweet dance moves. I don't agree with that stand-up at all. At all. I'm gonna get knocked out. Eve Levine with the big win again, Joe! It is time for this incredible woman to step into the role that she is meant to have. And we... We, all of us, are gonna help her get there. Okay. Here she is! So some total jerk wad just said that my laugh was gross. So I turned around and I said, yeah, well, your face is gross. <laughs> That's just a stupid boulder. It's not just a boulder. It's a rock. You know, they say all men are created equal. But you look at me and you look at small Joe and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally if you go one-on-one -on -one with another wrestler, you got a 50-50 chance of winning. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. So you got a 25% at best at beat me. And then you add Kurt Angle to the mix, your chances of winning drastically go down. See, the three-way at sacrifice, you got a 33 and a third chance of winning. But I, I got a 66 and two-thirds chance of winning because Kurt Angle knows he can't beat me, and he's not even going to try. So, Samoa Joe, you take your 33 and a third chance, minus my 25% chance, and you got an eight and a third chance of winning at sacrifice. But then you take my 75% chance of winning, if we used to go one on one, and then add 66 and two thirds percents, I got 141 and two thirds chance of winning at sacrifice. See, Mick Joe, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice.
seen this one before. <laughs> Firmly grasp it in your hand. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Meow. chance to defeat me fool and you know why because you cheated no, no hi my name is carla shaw you can stop at five or six stores or just one i don't need friends they disappoint me hi i'm todd larue you could stop at five or six stores or just one i feel like a deer in the headlights of love You've got a big storm coming. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. No, no. You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. Can I ask you kind of a weird question? You could stop at five or six stores, or just one. She's gonna break a damn hip. Alright, that's my reaction to to this. But obviously I lost. Like, subscribe. Peace.